want to tell you another sound play. Uh, this one's called a Tanuki Tolkien. That's a it's a variation on the uh, Tolkien shrimp. So I have here uh, this is a size eight uh, Patriot in a black nickel, and I'm going to use white thread uh, to start with because there's a reason for that because I'm going to do a red head and I want it over the top of that. So uh, first things we're going to tie in a section of holographic gold flat braid. Wrap that down to a point sort of level with the tips of the hook. A little bit of glue up on top of that. And wrap the gold braid into that. So for the middle hackle on this one I'm going to do is use a uh, golden pheasant and this is the yellow portion but I've dyed it in a sort of like a, a hot orange so it'll be like a spay hackle of sorts. Take one of those, separate it out till we find the tip of the thing. Pull all this bit back. So let me tie in tip point and back. Fold back our hackle. A couple of wraps across the base of it to hold it in place. And then we get our hackle pliers. And we'll slide hackle between finger and thumb to double it over as it wraps. The tail of this fly uh, is orange dyed tanuki. Now tanuki is a sort of a fin raccoon. As you can see it is longish yard hairs. If you don't have that, don't be overly worried. You can use a uh, fox or something like that there. So what we're going to do, cut a bit out of that. And now there's a big difference in this between the length of the yard hairs and the under hairs, so I'm going to actually reduce that by pulling the under fur out and then moving it further along. Okay, so when I end up with this sort of a bunch, as you can see, the longer yard hairs sticking through it. I'm going to tie that in on top of the shank coming out what one and a half two times the length of the of this line and then I'm going to take a section of Mirage crinkle here tie it in and fold it back on top so there's two strands of Mirage supported by the tail them off to be the same length. Cut this off at a bit of an angle. And then super glue the tie in thread and wrap over the bases of that there. Now off the front I'm going to use a, a mix of black dubbin that I made now. This is a synthetic dubbin that I got from Frankie McPhillips in the black and then I've mixed uh, a variety of angel hairs and stuff like that there into it to create a sort of a black glistery kind of a dubbin. You can just use black glister or some sort of black synthetic dubbin or just plain black silk if you feel like it. I'm just going to create a 
a little dubbed black thorax there. So, next thing we want to do is put on a wing. So we're going to use again, you can use black tanuki, you can use black uh, fox or black uh, temple dog or something like that there. Uh, fox pelt tends to be very good for that and also fox mask some of the bigger bits slightly longer bits around the back of the ears and stuff like that is also quite good for this. So this is going to go on and it's going to be supported by the tail so you can tie this back to mm, back of the hook maybe even a little bit beyond. So we set that up on top get a pinched loop in and pull that down that should keep that up top of our fly. Snip that off. I'm run a glue on our thread and wrap over the tie-in of that to secure it. So there's now two hackles at the front, and uh, those are uh, an orange badger and a yellow badger hackle, and. Uh, there's also going to be jungle cock, but what we'll do is put the jungle cock in between the two hackles and then the first one will support it and the second one will protect it. So we take an orange badger hackle and double it. Break off the tip. it across the tip, fold it back, and then we get on one or two turns of that. The bigger the fly, the more turns. Once it's that on, we want to take a couple of jungle cock feathers. Match them up with their tips and strip off the point I want to tie them in. Once we're happy with them. Them on the sides. And just pull them back to whatever length suits so yourself. Some people like quite short jungle cock, some people like longer. Now just fold back the bases of those feathers. snip off the stalks. Right. So a bit of glue onto the white thread. Wrap that on. Cut it off. And then I'm changing over now to a UTC fire orange. And while that's still a little bit wet with the glue. Really get that on. Now you can do tie the whole fly in white and then wrap that over the head, but I find that sometimes you can see that last 
on what the, the tangs underneath the last tackle. So that's why we've, we're going to use it to tie in the final hackle. So I'll take a yellow badger hackle and the same thing with it. Double it over. I'm using slightly longer, perhaps, fibre tackles than I would on a like this size. And that's sort of in keeping with the longer spay type hackle that we have as, as our rear hackle. So, over the tip, fold it back. one or two turns of that at the front. Snip it off and now all we have to do is uh, finish the head. So, lock tight, paint the and thread with the Loctite and wrap. dries out, it'll get, uh, you get a coat of Sally Hansen hard as nails or something along the lines of that, but that is our Tanuki Tolkien variation of uh, the Tolkien shrimp. <laughs> 